guys, it's Megan. Today I am starting my Project 20 pan and um, I've done Project 10 pans in the past. I've never done a Project 20 pan, but I picked all of the products that I want to use up before the end of the year. So this is going from today, Monday, October 6th until December 31st. So it just so happened that I had 20 products that I wanted to use up before the end of the year. So I have 20 products exactly. Usually I have put in like more products than like 10. So in my Project 10 pans, I've done like 15 products. And then when 10 were done, I was done. But this is Project 20 pan. I have 20 items. So I want to try to use up every single one. And I have a mixture of makeup and like skincare stuff. Sorry, my dad's home. Hi dad, I'm filming. So I have a mixture of makeup and like just normal beauty stuff. It's all things that I've had for a while or just things that I think that I'll be able to use up. Some of these are a challenge to me, but others of these like they won't be hard. It's just that I really need to finish them up because they're expiring. So I'll start with the four products that I carried over from my last Project 10 pan, which I finished today, and um, that are now in this. These will all look very familiar to you guys. First is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in Fair to Light. I've had this in all of my Project 10 pants. I've been working on this since last November and um, I repressed it in the middle and um, hopefully before the end of this year it will get used up and I can start on a new bronzer. I also have the Mally Ever Color Shadow Stick in Twilight. This doesn't have much left. This will probably be used up by the end of October. Um, I'm just really excited about uh, finishing up another cream shadow so that will be really awesome. Then I have the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in number 21. I don't have much left in here like it's really really low and um, like I said in my finale for my Project 10 pan I'm not cutting open um, like tubes of of face products anymore just because I have so many to get through that I just want to like use it up and um, move on to another so when this is unable to be squeezed anymore that's when that's done and the last one that I'm carrying over is the Rachel K CC cream which I use as a primer who knows how much is in here this has lasted me for so long and had so much more than I thought was actually in here but I definitely want to finish this up because um, it doesn't really say an expiration date on here, I don't think, but the sunscreen probably isn't really good anymore because I've had this for over a year. So I just want to use that up. Okay, and then all the other products are new ones that I haven't had in projects before. So I'm adding in two more BB creams because my goal for this year was to use up all of my BB creams and tinted moisturizers and these are the last two that I have in addition to what I've already showed you. So this is the Dr. Jar Black Label Detox BB Cream and this is what I got with my um, Clarisonic for Christmas last year. It came in that set. So this is like the same size as the Water Fuse BB Cream that I used up in last Project 10 pan. Um, this is more of like a grayish tone, better, much, much better for me in like the winter months. So I thought that this would be a good time to throw it in a project and use that up. Then I have the MUA BB Cream All-in-One Beauty Balm in light. And this is a very, very, very light color. Um, it's like super super fair. So I thought that this would be good as like a mixer with my other um, face products in the winter just to lighten them up if I need to do that. Um, I really have barely used this at all. Um, and I think Sam gave this to me, Sam or Jen. So I definitely want to try to use this up and I think that it'll, it would work best for me in the winter. Anyhow, this is like one of the products I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to use up, but since it was my goal to use up all of my tinted moisturizers and BB creams, that's my last one and I'm throwing it in this. The next product is something that I'm nervous about doing, but I want to challenge myself to do it. So this is my oldest eyeshadow that I have in my collection and it is the NARS Single in Ondine and I want to hit pan on this. That is my goal for this shadow. I've had this since I was in high school. Now I'm graduated from college. It is such, such a beautiful, like, mauve -y. 
I don't know, you could use it all over your eye, you can do your crease with it. I could just do so many things with this and um, I'm pretty, there's like a, like a dip in the middle, but I don't remember the last time I hit pan on an eyeshadow. So I really wanna try to do it with this because obviously NARS is more expensive and it's one of my oldest shadows. It is my oldest shadow. So I thought that it would be a challenge and kind of fun to do it. So I'm gonna try to incorporate this into all of my looks and try to hit pan on that. So that'll be interesting. It might be like a cool like blush color actually. Hmm. I'll, I'll have to try that out. Okay, then I have three color lip products because another one of my goals for the end of this year is to use up five more lip products because I reached my goal of finishing 10 up and then I decided I want to challenge myself to use five up by the end of the year. So I used up one in my last um, Project 10 Pam, my Trina Tarantino lipstick and cameo. I have the Revlon Peach Petal Gloss in my Finish 6 by Christmas, and so three more would finish up the five. So I picked the um, L'Oreal Color Reach Balm in Lays in the Maze, which is one that I got last summer. So if you look in, that is how much I've used up. I put sort of a line as to where it is. Um, and this is just a really pretty pink color. So that's how much I have left. This will not take me very long to use up at all. Um, but I definitely wanted to use this up because it is like a year old and I'm trying to like rotate through my um, lip products. So this won't be a problem to use up. Then I have the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, which is the Revlon Marquesa lipstick in pink cognito. Look at this packaging. It's so beautiful. I bought this last winter or earlier this year it's basically like a full tube i did like mark where it is um this is just a really easy color to use because it's like i don't know it's like a light color it's like a natural color for me so um i just want to use this up i'm trying to use up my more like natural colors because i know that i wouldn't be able to use up like a red or something so um i want to try to use this up and then um i also want to try to use up this NARS um, satin, what do, what do they call it? Satin lip pencil in Rakugian. So this is one I got from the NARS 500 point perk. Um, I've used quite a bit of it and I really, really love it. So I thought that I would just try to use it up. And one of the things I want to purchase um, soon whenever this comes out is NARS has a like lip pencil set for the holiday so I really want to buy that and using one up would help me justify purchasing a kit with four of them so um I just want to use this up because I really like it I just hate that you have to sharpen it it's not like a twist up but I love how these feel so it kind of like that makes up for having to sharpen it. So I think that this won't be difficult to use up. I would just have to like carry a sharpener with me, I guess. And then I'm also throwing in this um, lip balm from the Body Shop. It's the Spice Vanilla Lip Balm. Sam gave this to me for Christmas last year, I think. And I've used up pretty much of it, but I want to try to use it up before the end of this year. Um, it smells like a candle to me. I've thought that ever since I first got it. Um, I like this lip balm okay, but I really want the Nivea um, Vanilla Macadamia Kiss back. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much, but I wanted to use this up before I purchased that. So I'm almost, almost done with it. Um, this will probably last me quite a bit longer just because like these last a long time, but I definitely think I'll be able to use this up before the end of the year. Then I have two mascara samples, and um, I've had these for a while. I think Natasha gave um, these to me in like a little present that she sent me, and so I definitely want to try them out, let you guys know how they are, um, and also then not have like mascara just sitting around because I don't really like having like oodles of mascara. I like to just use it up and then purchase one. So I have this Steel is Stay All Day Waterproof Volumizing Mascara just a small size like I said and then the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara and I'm 95% sure I've tried this before um so I haven't opened these yet this is what the Stila brush looks like that looks like a brush I would actually really like it's like natural bristles 
And then the Estee Lauder looks like that, which is like kind of a cone shaped. So I'm going to use these. Shouldn't take very long to use these up. Maybe I'll layer them if I like it that way. Um, but I'll definitely be able to use these up. That's no problem. This is also kind of a challenge for me and I was inspired to do this because of my friend Sam who for her finished six by Christmas she put in a nail polish and I think that she is so brave. She put in like a full size Essie nail polish and it's like a dark green color and I'm like girl you go like you finish up that nail polish. I am not quite as brave, but I thought that I would throw in a nail polish. And this is the Nails Ink Porchester Square. It's just a mini size. I am down to here. So I have a lot of it left. This is just the most perfect muted purple grayish nail polish. I love this for all year round, but especially in the fall and winter. And the reason I put this one specifically in my project is because I intend on buying they have nail, nails ink is having the what am I saying nails ink has a holiday set with um like five or six of their nail polishes that I want to get during the VIB sale and poor Chester square is in that set so I don't want to have two of the same nail polish so I'm going to try to use this up um I'll probably do like it on my toenails one time, fingernails another, just always having it on, switching it on and off. It's a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. And um, I think I will be able to use this up as long as I like consistently paint my nails with this, like every other time that I do my nail polish. So that's why I put this in there. But I also wanted to challenge myself and see if it was actually possible to use up a nail polish in like three months so it's a mini but we'll see okay then I'm also putting in kind of a mini pr uh, product this is kind of like a gimme product but this is a little rollerball of Calvin Klein Forbidden Euphoria and Sam gave this to me for my birthday like she gave me a bunch of um, perfume samples and this was one of them and um, so it's just a really tiny rollerball of Calvin Klein Forbidden Euphoria perfume. Um, I just thought I would throw it in here because I don't know I needed another product and I didn't want to like put in a full size perfume or something so I put this one in and I'll use this up for sure so that's kind of a gimme. Then I put in the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. So I am down to here. I really don't have a lot left, but the reason I am putting this in here is because this expires at the very beginning of January. So I definitely want to remember to finish this up. So there's not much in here, but you don't need a lot to like for each application. You don't need a lot and I don't use dry shampoo like all the time. So this will probably have been used up anyhow, but I thought I would throw it in here just because it is expiring and I don't want to let it go to waste. So this is being put in the project. This is definitely something I'm repurchasing. It's like one of the most effective dry shampoos ever and it doesn't make my scalp like itch and break out and stuff. So I love this. Okay. This is something that is also kind of a challenge. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. This is a like deluxe size of it. I got this in a Josie Marin kit. I have used this once since I got it and I'm trying to be a lot better like I have told you guys about using up my skincare especially skincare oils because I have bought so many in the recent months. So this is one of my smallest size oils and um, I thought that this would be really good for winter. So I am putting this in my project. It's basically completely, completely full. Um, I know that you can use this on your hair, on your face, on your body, wherever. So I am sure that I'll be able to find a use for this. And I'm really excited about trying out such like a hyped up product. And I have liked Josie Marin's products that I've tried before. So I'm excited about trying this out. It's just been way too hot for me to use this since I got that kit so 
that's also why I want to put this in this project to use it up while it is cold and not just save it for like an entire year and wait until whatever next winter or something so I just want to use this up figure out if I like it or not because I know a lot of people really do this is also something that is expiring. This is the One Love Organics Brand New Day um, Microderma Scrub and Mask. This is something that I got from um, beautysage.com when I had a gift card for um, that online store. And this, is, this says 12 months. And in like November, it this November, it'll be that I've had it for 12 months. I've used this not a lot of times. It's basically like... A powder and I don't know how to show you but it comes out like there and it's like a powder that you mix with water and you can use it as like an exfoliator or you can leave it on your skin as like a mask um, I haven't used it enough times to even know if I like this product so I'm definitely going to um, try it out see if I like it I think that it will be really nice for like my chest area to use as an exfoliator because I like to use an exfoliating wash there um, but I definitely will try to use this as a mask as well just try it out in different ways and um, it's nice because it's like a natural organic company so um, this might be something interesting to look into if you do want to buy things that are more natural and organic um, but I just definitely want to use this up before it expires because having such like natural products you don't want to let them like be too over their expiration date because they don't have as they don't have like preservatives and stuff usually so I want to use that up and not let it go to waste same with this. This is the Polish Choice 2% Beta Hydroxy Acid Gel. So I have down to here. I've used up this much. This is something I bought last year, two years ago. I can't remember. Um, and I used to use this on my face. Now I am not really using this on my face. I'm using it on my KP, my keratosis polaris on my upper arms. Um, so this just helps with exfoliating those areas to make sure that they're smoother. And um, I'm honestly not even sure if this is still good because like it says that it's good for 12 months and I think that I've had it for like two years. So um, I want to just use it on that area specifically, see if it actually does anything. If not, I'll probably just throw it out, but um, I definitely want to give it a shot and see if it is still like good and still like has the active ingredients like working. Um, if not, I'll just toss this out, maybe put in another product, but this is something I definitely need to at least try to use up because it's really old. And then my last product is kind of a weird one, but it will encourage me to use this more often. This is the Plax um, Dental Rinse. This is something that you use before you brush your teeth to sort of like loosen up the stuff between your teeth and I don't know, it's kind of like gross, but it's really, really effective. Um, I have down to here, so probably like a third of the bottle. I just never remember to use this. Like, I don't know what my issue is. It is in front of my sink every single night when I would use it, but I just never use it. So I need a push to help remind myself to use this every night or basically every night. So I thought that putting it in a project pan would really encourage me to use this more often. It is really helpful for the health of my teeth and stuff. So I should want to use it anyhow, but I, for some reason, just need the push to use this. So I threw it in this project. So those are the 20 products that I am going to try to use up before the end of this year. I'm really excited, but kind of scared because all of my other Project 10 pans have been like quick. Like I've pretty much done them in a month or like a little bit over a month and this is like three months so I'm a little bit nervous um because I really like instant gratification like I really just want to see the progress get done with it and move on but this will be a test in my patience and just working on products for a little bit longer like I said some of these are kind of like gimme products that will definitely get used up really quickly but other ones it'll take me quite a while to use them up so 
we'll see how this goes. Um, I feel like this is more of like a true Project 10 pan because I put in some like more difficult products like hitting pan on an eyeshadow and finishing up a nail polish and stuff, but I just thought it would be fun to challenge myself a little bit and um, hopefully it'll be fun and not stressful. But I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the products that I picked for this round of Project 20 pan. Um, and like I have said before, I probably won't be doing Project 10 pans next year. So um, I, I intend on starting um, Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo after Finish 6 by Christmas ends. Um, so that's definitely something I want to do, which will be, will be like a really long project pan. It'll be like five months. Um, but other than that, I'm not really planning on doing Project Pans, so this will be like my last hurrah for like a while for Project Pans, so I really wanted to like get through the stuff that I thought that I would actually be able to use up. So um, yeah, that is that. I'll stop rambling to you guys, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're starting a Project Pan too for the rest of this year or just for the next month or so. Um, I would love to hear about it and watch your progress. So I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful. Thank you so much for watching today. I really, really love that you're here and hanging out with me. And um, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.